Tainui are again in turmoil as a power struggle between the iwi's parliament, Te Kohanga Nui, and its executive arm, Te Aratauda, turned into a showdown at the weekend. Jody Ihak has been looking into the controversy, and I take it the battle's not over, Jody. Kia ora, Tam and si. No, the situation is far from resolved, so with me in the studio I have the man at the centre of the firestorm, Tukuroirangi Morgan, the chairman of Te Aratauda. And we'll talk to him in a minute, but first I've been looking at how deep feelings are running. From the safety of anonymous blog sites, Tainui Iwi are venting their anger, and it's Te Aratauda and Tuku copping the most flack. There is nothing but total disrespect and contempt coming from Te Aratauda towards Te Kohana Nui. Te Aratauda continues to make us all look like fools. Wake up, Tainui. I believe you are a coward and are running our tribe into ruin. Get out, Tuku. Get out. Last weekend's Te Kohanga Nui vote to sack Tuku ended in both sides claiming victory and Tuku staying resolutely at the helm. Both sides have called in lawyers, but this fight is just one in a long line of controversies. In 1995, Tainui was the first iwi to receive an official apology and treaty settlement of $170 million. But bad financial decisions, including buying the Warriors, turned the windfall into a freefall. Within five years, the iwi had to write off a $42 million debt and in 2001 made a loss of $2.8 million. In 2003, businessman John Spencer was brought in as chairman of Tainui Group Holdings to turn things around. He did. Last year's annual report claimed a net profit of 18.6 million, with an asset base of 644.5 million, including the Novotel Hotel at Auckland Airport. The profits have risen and so has dissent. Last year, King Tuhaitia sacked Tanya Martin, the chairwoman of Te Kohanganui, over her allegations of overspending by Te Aratauda, only to have the High Court reinstate her. Now it's Tuku facing the chopping block. Money is at the root of this evil. We were happier people when we had nothing. The passion was there, the respect for one another was prevalent. Look at us now. If we do not get the rules changed, whoever is elected to Te Aratauda will continue the same BS the present psycho fans created. Morgan does not want the rules to be changed. If they are changed, he loses. Big time. Kia ora tuku, thank you for coming. Yeah. When you see a piece like that with all the bad stuff lined up together, how does that make you feel? Oh, look, um, you know, clearly uh, roles of, uh, uh, in relation to roles of leadership, you know, it requires people to listen to all views and people are entitled to feel the way that they do. And the key um, issue for people like me is to address those concerns. And so I'm, I'm first of all humbled by the fact that uh, I had a, enough support to get back and I continue to be the chair of Te Aratauda and a member of Te Kauhanga Nui. But I the guess reality is, legally, should you be where you are absolutely, right now? Absolutely, the rules are very precise. There are no grey no areas in the rules. And um, they use the rule to disqualify me. It required... 50% of the total marae who attended the hui in the weekend. That's 65. Half of 65 is not 30. Now, when I was taught mathematics at Dako Manga, then on to boarding school at St Stephen's, half of 65 is not 30. It required 33 votes. Politics might always be about the numbers, but the people are saying using blogs because they're afraid of the reaction from the leaders of Tainui. They're saying they don't want you, they're angry with you. Oh, look, Are you listening? Uh, yes, absolutely. A, a, and that's a stark uh, reminder for people like myself and the board that actually uh, we've got to be much more incisive, much more attentive to the, to, to the concerns of our people. I've got to get out there. And, um, you know, one thing's for sure, there's a lot of work to be done uh, to restore the faith, and I'm willing to do that. Because actually the future of this tribe is too important for me and for my colleagues on Te Aratauda to fritter away uh, and, to, and to be, um, I guess, uh, caught up and hang up in criticism and we just don't go anywhere. And so I'm not a fan for apathy. I want to get on and so does the board. And we've got a lot of work to do in the tribe.
Having said all of that, are you denying the claims against you about self-interest? Absolutely. Absolutely. What about overspending? Uh, that $1.7 million in seven months, is that true or false? Baseless allegations. Every issue that has been put before us uh, has been refuted with the facts. And so as Tanya Martin and her supporters have gone out and waged a campaign of misinformation, we've been very precise and clear about our retort and our response. It is baseless. Are you being transparent enough, though? Some of the, the things that I've heard this week is that people aren't getting access to the annual report or true accounts of spending. Our annual report meeting is coming up shortly and uh, uh, our commercial company have, uh, have released its results and the collective results have also been released. We made a profit of $23.5 million. The asset base that I and the board as a shareholder sit over has quadrupled since 1995. And so we started with 170, we're now 650. Now that is a, a story, that's an extraordinary uh, recovery at a time when we were teetering, when there were some problems from the outset, because actually being a pioneer is very difficult to do because there aren't any footprints to follow in the sand. And so we've had to build and design our own pathway to the future. So I'm, I'm, I'm along with my colleagues, uh, absolutely excited about the future for Waikato Tainui. And the results speak for itself. A hotel at the airport, a retail development in Hamilton, uh, soon to be the largest retail development in this country. Some of the iwi leaders that I've talked to this week have told me, and they're not, not saying any names at this point, that they've actually advised you to step away. Is that something that you've considered? Actually, um, uh, why would I want to step away when legally, by the rules, uh, my position is secure. And so there are no grey areas in the rules. Fact, uh, uh, the fact what remains, about the fact that the fact controversy remains, is always swirling around you? Leadership is a tough game. And uh, Māori politics is a minefield um, intertwined uh, with emotion and passion. And that's, uh, that's not new to Māori. Have you been too smart? Is that why some of the criticism is getting personal and ugly towards you? Uh, the, the, uh, look, clearly this, this, uh, this attack is, uh, is tinged with personality differences. But, you know, I'm no stranger to controversy. I've got to do a job. My job is not to be popular, but to do the job. You've I get the job done. The koro neihana is coming up. Absolutely. This is when the Tainui people gather to yeah. tell the leaders what's happening. What do you think you'll hear then? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually chairing uh, the Iwi Leaders Forum. So we've got 54 leaders from various Iwi around the country who will be sitting at the table as we, as we debate issues of water, of constitutional uh, change, of whānau water, and other pertinent issues, including the kohanga claim against the Crown. And so I'm excited by the prospect that we're going to sit again the, uh, the Iwi Leaders Forum at Koro Nehana is always the largest and the most well attended of all of the hui around the country. And so I'm very proud that we've been able to provide a forum that is both transparent and accountable, not only to the people of Waikato, but across this, uh, the, this nation. Do you anticipate any protests, Hikoi? Oh. We've been reading on blogs that, you know, the, the call is out there to gather look, those look, who are angry look, with you to protest pe against people, you. Uh, pe uh, people can do what they want to do. My job is to get on and deliver the business for, uh, for, uh, for my tribe. And my, and my track record speaks for itself. Both Laiha Mahuta and I delivered the Waikato River Settlement. $100 million to the tribe and a co-governance arrangement with the Crown. Never ever seen in this country. We now have a, the largest river in this country co-governed by Iwi and the Crown. I just have to ask you, Erica's blog, the Tainui News on Erica's blog, they're claiming that they've been threatened and we're told to shut down. I have, I have no... Look, I don't even read the blog. And, in fact, I'm not interested in what people say on the blog or the social network or whatever. Is, I've, got a job, it, I've got a job to do. Does that mean you're not interested in what the rangatahi, the future of Tainui, not, have to say? Absolutely not. I don't read it personally, but I'm hearing from my, from my own family, from friends... And I have to have full regard for, uh, uh, you know, for how people, young and old, for how people are feeling. Do you I'm feel like you're I'm only just there by the skin of your teeth, though? A win is a win. In politics, a win is a win. It doesn't matter whether it's narrow or slim. A win is a win. But the slimness of the majority says this to me. 
I've got to work harder and smarter. Can you work harder and smarter with Absolutely. Tanya Martin? I've always been receptive to talking to Tanya Martin, meeting with her, but it's never been the other way around. In the end, we're going to, we're going to look to trying to uh, unite the tribe, not divide it. And I'm not interested in going to the courts, actually. I'm interested in getting on with the job because the rules quite clearly say I'm in, I'm the chair of Te Aratauta, and I'm proud to carry the responsibility for and on behalf of the board and my colleagues are staunch in terms of trying to deliver the best outcome for Waikato Tainui. Kia ora, thank you very much, appreciate you coming in. I whakapā atu mātou kia Tānia Martin, te heamana o te kauhanga nui, kia hare mai ia ki runga o marae. Engari, auware ake. Anei tāna imera. Tani feels that Tainui business should remain within Tainui and she will continue to work hard for the best interests of her people.